I told well, industry is an indication of growth of economy and aspiration of the country. And this is very important for the country. Presently, our Prime Minister has taken a decision with a target that accepting the challenge that we can eradicate the poverty. If you want to work for eradicate poverty, we need more capital investment and by which we need to give more employment potential to increase in India. The basic spirit of our economic policies is how we can going to create more jobs for our youth. And I am confident that the automobile industry's role is very important. And that's why it's important for us that we want to support you and we want to encourage this industry. At the same time, our intention is to increase the export in this industry. From Indian auto industry has come a long way with doubling of production in last 10 years. The total production has surpassed 2.3 crore vehicle with annual turnover of about rupees 4 lakh crores. And the auto wise spare parts turnover is also, it is something 1 lakh 50,000 crores. So this is very important for the growth of our country. I feel that we need more research, more adoption of new policies, new innovation. And I am confident that the day will come that by accepting this innovation and new technology and new research, our industry will make the manufacturing of vehicle which is doubled in last 10 years. But by this approach, I am confident that within five years, it is going to double 100%. That is my confidence in my mind. It will create more jobs and it has a very crucial role in our development. The industry also contributes significantly to export earnings of the country with 35 lakh vehicles exported last year. It's really a great achievement. I am also responsible for ports, inland waterways, and uh, coastal shipping. Uh, already in BPT in Mumbai, we are creating the facility for exporting your vehicle. And we are also ready to create all type of arrangement for export of your vehicle in our major ports. We are also taking a decision that we can make the draft of 20 meter, 18.5 to 20 meter draft, by which it can be easily available the sheep of 2 lakh ton, which can reduce your cost. At the same time, we are going to develop inland waterways. I will request you to think about rural services. The trucks which are going from Delhi to Chennai, you can use this coastal traffic rural service for that. It can reduce the logistic cost. So, in the waterways also, we have five waterways already approved by the government. The Ganga is one of the important waterways. We are making three multimodal hub in Varanasi, Haldia and Saibganj. Already the contracts, already we have finalized. We will start the work of this multimodal hub before March. Already we have inaugurated the system of river traffic, traffic control from Farakka to Haldia. And next six months, it will be from Farakka to Patna and Patna to Varanasi. So now I will request you to think about how we can, you can transport your vehicle by waterways. At the same time, we are, make, we are already taking a decision to make 111 rivers to convert into waterways. The bill already passed by the Lok Sabha in Parliament. Now it is with the upper house and I am expecting that in the, new, in the next session, probably we will succeed to pass this bill in the Rajya Sabha. So this can be a good source. Your logistic cost will be reduced by at least by one fifth of the cost. You can make your logistic easily available and which can will give good benefit to the industry. My ministry is committed to provide you good roads. It is a good news that I am working for you. 
because the national highway in our country was 96,000 km. After we are taking a charge, we have taken a decision. There was a lot of conservative approach about declaration of the national highway. So now we have declared the national highway of 1,52,000 km. Just we double the national highway. And I am promising you that within a month, definitely we are going up to the mark of 1,75,000 km. Cement concrete road, 4 laning, 6 laning, 8 laning. Now we are making express highways. In Delhi we have already started the express highway, the easterly and westerly bypass of 13,000 crores. We have already taken decision to make express highway from Delhi to Merat, axis control express highway. And already our plan is to make a lot of express highway in the country. Our road net network which is going to increase its most beneficiaries will be the agrobank sector. So I feel that this our decision is definitely going to help you. The automobile industry has capability to build world class vehicle with safety standards. The safety standards are very important. Unfortunately in our country every year we have 5 lakh accidents and 1 lakh 50,000 deaths. I don't want to blame automobile industry for that. There are a lot of lacunas in road engineering. There are lacunas related with the driving licenses. And there are some problems related with the auto well sector. I will request you to save the life of the people is very important. So from your side, whatever preventive measures the industry need, is all are welcome. And I will request you from my heart that regarding these accidents, I need your cooperation. With the increasing number of automobiles, we need to focus on fuel. The pollution is a big problem. The green judge now are very active and that is one of the reasons now this is the time for the country to take the appropriate decision. Already Mr. Gite, the Petroleum Minister Dharmendra Pradhan, Environment Minister Prakash Javadekar and myself, we have collectively decided to accept the emission norms of Euro 6, that is of from 1st April 2020, that norms we are going to make mandatory. You don't bother about the fuel. 